since I do not speak uh, from uh, I will speak in English. Uh, it's going to be uh, just a couple of minutes. Um, I came here from in Northern Illinois University. Uh, okay, uh, I will invite Pastor Perez to come and interpret what I'm saying. Uh, it's my privilege to be standing here in front of you today. Uh, since I introduced myself earlier, my name is Nathan Paul Kipken and I came from Northern Illinois University and currently doing my PhD program in computer science. Actually, it's not King Paul Kipian. Paul is my nickname. King Paul Kipian in that is Paul is nickname for one of the And in Burma, I belong to a Taduki group, which mostly live in Sagai region in Chengdu district. Goro and Sagai guys from the Kuki Tadau, Nam Kuki Bumulin Lam, the area not in Sagai community. Today, I am very delighted to be standing here and trying to say a few words of thanks, especially on this day of giving uh, some message of congratulatory to my beloved friend, Pastor uh, Helen. So we were in India for quite some time before we came to the United States. India and America In the beginning, uh, we were interested in politics. Uh, and Pastor Hema was also one of the uh, leading uh, scholars, young scholars in the change society who is really interested in politics. Not only in politics, but he's also, he was also, he has been very active in community services and student activities. And also he is not only known within the Chin community, but within the Burmese community, community as a whole, especially in the exile community. And it's very, in one way, it's really very surprising to see him here standing as a pastor today. The reason why I'm saying is that, like I said before, he was very interested in his community services and student uh, activities in the community. But God has a plan for everyone. Even though we propose many things, God has His own purpose in our lives. And today He sent me as a pastor to lead this church, and I'm very happy for Him. And as he leads this church, I am very confident that he's not only going to lead this church, but he's going to be very active in the Chin community in the United States and as well as across the world. And so I want to focus a little bit on encouraging the younger students and community here to come together. It is because of our own bad government, everybody that we come here and it's a, a blessing in disguise. And I want to encourage everyone to take the opportunity while we are living here. 
One big difference from our country is that we have the opportunity regardless of our age. Whether you are young or old, we have all the opportunity to be a successful person. And then when you are in your 50s or 40s, if you have the will and if you are very much interested and have a determination, you can still go to school and become a PhD candidate and you become a well-known scholar in this community itself. And there are many available opportunities in this country. I encourage everyone to take those opportunities that are available to us and use them at the most so that you can make yourself a better person. And also I want to thank uh, Pastor Rekio. I have heard his name and I think if, if you could still remember I communicated with him by email. I was asking the book he wrote on Jabelli. And he said he didn't have a copy, so he was going to send me it. But it's already a year ago, and he has never sent me it. <laughs> it's really a pleasure to be here with him together today. He is one of the leading examples in our society that encourages every young and old alike. And I think he still remembers Dr. Tilun Kim from India. And he said, when I met Dr. Tilun Kim, he said, Dr. Hyakyu was his classmate. Lun <coughs> Kim is a very popular and famous person within our community in India and on the other hand Dr. Heikyu is a very wide and well known uh, community and a scholar in our Chin community in Burma. In India, and he has done a lot of things for the community and I, I am confident that he's going to continue his generous activities in the days to come. And I look at this one and I saw a few things about Pastor Rema, what his activities in the past. <laughs> and as we all know, leadership, especially in our community, is not very easy. Because to say something is easier than to do something. And I want to urge everyone today who are coming here and who are not coming here but church members and uh, community members in this Indiana place. The success of our leaders are also dependent on our own participation and contribution. Do not only expect what your leader can do, but also try to contribute what you can to support your leader so that he or she can lead the community into a successful society.
And I hope if you support and cooperate, Pastor Rema is going to be a good leader, a great leader, and a successful pastor for this church. And last but not the least, I want to arch again uh, Pastor Hekio, Pastor Rema, and all the church members and the uh, community members in Indiana Place. If I'm not mistaken, Indiana, Indiana Place has the largest ship population in the country. So we are here because of God's blessing. Let's use these blessings to bless our own people back home. Whether you are interested in business or whether you are interested in other academic pursuits. Always remember your root. Even if you plan to become, or if you, even if you try to act as Americans, you are still Burmese. Uh, American citizens. So, my urge to everyone here is that let us cooperate and let us try to build our society here in this country and back home. Thanks for having me and uh, happy new year to you all. Hello, Oi. Thank you.